Welcome back golf fans, very interesting day for me today. The first ever Seve Ballesteros course I'm ever going to play and the only one in Ireland, this is the Heritage. So as always here on the Big Dan Golf Channel, we start off with the slow-mo. This is me on the first tee here, 386 yards off the whites on the first here at the Heritage. Uh, don't forget, if you do like the channel, please do like and subscribe as I take you down this first hole. So as we go down, there's bunkers on the right in the landing area, as you'll see here. Um, what happens then is that you go down over the crest of the hill, down to the green, which is then surrounded by bunkers to the right-hand side as well. Beautiful opening hole, this one. Lovely lush green grass. Let's see how we go. So, it's quite windy here today, as you can probably hear. So I'm gonna take on maybe a seven iron downhill into this wind. I am using my old clubs today, as I got refitted during the week. So they're in the, in the club makers. Anyway, let's try and get down there. Uh, it's not long enough, I don't think, or it might be. Just shy of the green, not too bad. Okay, golf fans, well, we've uh, not quite made the green, but we're not too far off. So I might just try and chip this up. I'm gonna take the seven iron out again with a bit of a bump and run. Try to anyway. Ooh. Oh no, I've degreened it. Disaster. Oh well. <laughs> Didn't degreen as much as I thought, so I'm just gonna try and get it down there close with the putter. I'm in the first cut of rough, so it's not gonna be easy. Go on, hit the hill, hit the hill, hit the hill. Stop, 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 stop. Yep, yeah, take that. Are you followers in here, Col? Get this, uh, get the bogey on camera anyway. There's not much else I can do. There we go. There's the bogey anyway. All right, on to the second. Okay, bogey wasn't so bad in that first hole. Uh, this is the second hole here on the Seve Ballesteros course at the Heritage. Beautiful long par five down the hill. Water um, meanders through this, uh, this hole down to the right, then across back to the left, and then there's a big lake to the left of the green. It is a 543 yard par five downhill stroke index two. Bunkers to the right of the green, and of course the big lake to the left. Beautiful hole, let's see how we go. I've decided to bring out the old driver, well not the old driver, the new driver, the Callaway XR Sub-Zero, and we're gonna give it a bash. The tight list is in the bag, so we'll see how we go. Please be good. Please be good. Right. It's landed, but it's not where I wanted it to go, but it's gone a decent way. Anyway, it landed there, so other side of that bridge, I think. 270 to the green. Um, probably just gonna lay up, to be honest, just to give us a chance, survived it anyway, survived the water. Um, lovely hole, but I think we're just gonna have to take a medicine, just lay up a little bit, go down towards the lake, just a little knock down wedge, sit, sit, yeah that's grand, that's okay, all right we'll go from there, I 
Always replace your divots, folks. As always here on Big Dan Golf, always replace your divots. Now we've laid up before the pond. Let's see where we are with the laser. Still 160. Wow, okay. Wind behind. So I'm going to try and mosey a little eight iron down there. That's the plan anyway. Not sure how these pings are going to react, but just go at the flag, it can't go wrong, really, can it? Ah, uh, bailed out, but it's all right. Sit. Uh, might have fallen in the bunker, but I did bail out because of the water on the left. Yeah, it's on there, it's not too bad. Right, let's try and make the putt for a par. Right, okay, putt for a par. Again, beautiful here at the Heritage, Seve Ballesteros course. Let's see if we can make this. Oh! No way! Uh, all right, okay, well, it is what it is. Take the bogey. Bogey, second hole. Third hole here on the Heritage. Savvy Ballesteros course is a 410 yard par four. Water on the left, two bunkers in the landing areas up on the left and on the right hand side there. Once you get up to the top of the hill, you've got another shot, which is going to be quite long in, um, probably about a five, four iron, it depends on how far you hit it. Bunker surrounding left and right as well. Difficult one, this one. Let's see how we go. Tee it low a bit. Aim down that bunker and try and bring it back, I suppose. Anyway, here we go. Down. Yeah, it's fine. Into the wind, just gone to the right hand side of the fairway. Pretty happy. Uh, second shot here in the third hole here at the Heritage. Um, the driver's left me with about 186, but I'm into wind, like really big style into wind. So I'm gonna try and push this four iron with a bit of a fade, try and take some of the distance off it, off them boys in the buggy there, bring it back. Anyway, that's the plan. Let's see if I can get it up there. Oh, it's a good looking shot if it's good. Go on, turn. Turn some more. Yeah, front of the green. Happy with that. Stopped halfway, hmm, not great. Anyway, try and finish this off. Looks pretty straight now, but it's hit two big bumps there. Ah, hit the green in two, then three putt, never mind. Another bogey, three bogeys on the trot. We move on to the next hole, par three. Fourth hole here at the Heritage is a very picturesque par three. Water running through the hole all the way down to the lake on the right hand side. There's bunkers to the left hand side of the green as well that will catch any errant shots. And of course, the huge lake to the right hand side. Beautiful looking hole this one. Gonna be quite difficult, let's see how we go. Okay, 199 into the pin, which is at the back. 
Oh. Right. Par three, water on the right hand side, just trying to keep it away from the water. Oh no, for left! Hmm. Might have killed somebody. Oh dear. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Just have to say for the record, nobody was actually killed. They were well off the tee. Everybody was safe and we found the ball. Um, as you can see viewers, I'm slightly off, off course. That's where the flag is. Um, I didn't kill anyone, which is the, which is the main thing. Um, so we've just got to try and wedge this up now to try and get it anywhere near. So we'll get the old 56 out and we'll try and loft it up. That's the plan anyway. Clean it off. Right, should be easy enough. That's the plan anyway. Right, come on, you can get up and down from here, no problem. Up and down. Down. Not too bad from here. Could have been better. I've got a chance of a par. Let's see if we can uh, roll this one in anyway. Be some save. Oh, Dan, you got to hit it. Ugh. Be another bogey. Oh, presuming this goes in. Yeah, it's a bogey. But it's all right, we'll move on. The next hole here at the Heritage, Seve Ballesteros course is a 430 yard par four off the whites. Round the corner dog leg to the right. Need a good drive and then your second shot needs to be quite long into the green as well but be careful because that green is surrounded by those big deep bunkers. Um, quite a tough hole especially with the second shot here. Let's see how we go. On the fifth hole here at the Heritage. Sweeping dog leg left to right round the corner par four. Need a big drive here I think to so try and get it up. Aim at the end of, the end of those trees and bring it back anyway that's the plan. So. Boom! One of them. Oh. Straight. It's all right. Miles away from where I want to be, but it's straight. Right, I'm miles away from where I want to be, so I'll try and get it up there with a the three wood. But it could go anywhere off this uphill lie, so I might just try and fade it back off that tree anyway. Go on, get up, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. It's all right, it's up there, but it just went up in the air, so third shot. The three wood managed to come up here. I didn't go very far, but um, we've only got a wedge in, so we just need to make sure it gets up and over that bunker. I suppose so it'll just be a little knock down stabby wedge hopefully try and get some grip although I'm in rough here anyway let's see how we go make sure the alignment's right over that massive bunker just got to get it over that bunker and then let the ball do the work Yeah, it's all right, it's pin high. It's about right with the distance. Could have been a bit closer, but yeah, we'll take that. Uh, okay, par chance. Let's see if we can get it in. Down off that hill. Come on. It is downhill. But it's left to right as well. Oh, I don't believe I've not hit it again. Ugh. Oh. 
No, no. <laughs> little lesson for you there, folks. Make sure that you take your time on the shorter putts. Anyway, let's go on to the next hole. Okay, the sixth hole here at the Heritage Seve Ballesteros course is a 434 yard par 4, down the hill, bunkers to the right in the landing area, there is a little stream that just goes across before the green that goes into the lake on the left hand side here as well. There are lots of bunkers on the right hand side as well so just be careful. Try and get that draw going. Get around the ball Dan, around the ball. Hey, one. So, try again. Try and get that uh, draw going. Come on. Oh, it's gone dead straight, but it's okay. Sent it down there. Yeah, perfect. Good drive. One, two, seven from there. So we're going to get the old 48 degree out. Right, one, two, seven in. Not too bad. We've avoided the trouble anyway. So let's try and get this up and up and at him. Right, where am I aiming? Okay, on the inside of that there. Right, okay. Oh, turn a bit more. Oh, wow. Well, I missed the green. It's right at the green, but it's not in the bunker just yet, so it's not too bad. Hit the hill now, hit the hill. Down the hill, but didn't come in like I wanted it to. Anyway, we'll mark that up and we'll have another go in a minute. Okay, for the par, the first par of the day. Come on, just get it to the hole. You've left a lot short today, Dan. Just get it to the hole. Uh, can't buy a par or a birdie today. There we go. Another bogey, but we go on to the next hole. Coming up in part two, we have some pars, we have some birdies, and possibly the best golf shot I've ever hit in my life. Make sure you like and subscribe, guys. See you in part two.